yourself. Well, you didn't expect to see me through here today, did you? Well, a little snow won't stop this old covered wagon. Well, it's a wonder to me you ever got this far. Easy. How about a little gas? You don't really mean you're going to try to go on. Sure. Come on. Fill up. Gosh, you're taking an awful chance. There ain't been a freighter through here in three days. Freighter? See, you don't know my bus. When I ran out of the loop... Now, listen. They tell me they're dressed up on a flat six and eight feet deep. Say, this old snowplow of mine will go through them drips like they was paper. Come on. Fill well, up, I reckon you know your own business. Yep. See you on your way back. Yep. See the one you went after? Mm-hmm. Where are you taking her to? You tell him, Mr. Regan, why don't you? I knew that woman was a criminal. The man with her is the police officer. Oh, don't mind me. I don't mind you, but I don't like to travel in the same box as you travel. That'll be enough out of you. Well, I... Hey, do you know who I am? Uh, who cares? Oh, folks. Well, I can't. What? Please, police. We've all got to travel together. Let's all be friends. Me a friend of that? Oh, why don't you pipe down? Try and make me. Well, folks, if you'll all hop aboard, we'll be on our way. My, isn't it cold? Yes, it's too cold. Everything's wrong. Now, well, certainly we'll be glad when we reach the railroad. I'll oh, take five gallons. Now, oh, shut up. Get in. Right, well, I'll get, get in as soon as I'm ready. And you, too. You don't mean to say you're going to try to go on. Why, certainly. This ain't nothing to when I run out of the loop. Well, don't ever say I didn't warn you. Okay, Pete. So long. I'll make it. Baby, I would like a piece. Let me change my mind. Surely. Thanks. That's the bird. Don't be so busy with your hands. <laughs> you sure are a funny kid. Hey, driver, can't you be a little bit more careful? Please. Don't worry, mister. You're a safe with me and a baby in his mother's arms. Oh. Hey, Gus. Get off the comedy, will you, and keep your eyes on the road? I say, driver, are you sure this road is perfectly safe? Do you know it's a perfect outrage if there isn't a railroad through this part of the country? I can't stand it. It's frightful. You're safer with me than you'd be on any railroad, mister. Why, when I ran out of Duluth... You mean when they ran you out of Duluth? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, would it bother you very much if I smoke? Certainly not. Thank you. You don't mind, do you? 
Give me a cigarette, will you? I'm sorry, I don't smoke them. Smoke? Thanks, kids. You're all right. I think you ought to turn back. It's getting worse. It's all right. We'll get through all right. Yes, we will. Thing we have much further to go. You're right. Everybody's about all in. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be able to make we'll it. We'll be there in a minute. Oh, don't give up now. Now. Well, 
well, well, well, well. Ain't this a nice, cozy place? I told you folks it'd be all right. You know, when I ran out of Duluth... Oh, why don't you shut up? You take your hat off. You fathead. You're in church now, not at home. Oh. And that goes for you, too. I wouldn't get so close to that fire if I were you. But look out for Chibnay. I'll risk it. Yeah, you would. Shut the door. Shut the door. Did you say you There must be somebody here. The fire wouldn't be burning. Hey, what? what the heck? What the... Hey, you, shut the door, will you? Oh, yes, pardon me. <laughs> I forgot to shut the door. Well, I didn't know this was Sunday. Why the congregation? Why, we had an accident. The bus broke down. And it was due to the carelessness of that. Well, you see, it was like this. We thought we could make it to North Fork to get the trade. This was pretty heavy, and we flung off the road. Well, here we are. How far did you get? Oh, a couple of miles out in the flats. Oh, just a couple of miles out in the flats, huh? Yep. Well, you had a pretty close call. And you ain't out of it yet. Oh, that's all right, folks. Leave it to me. Leave it to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pollyanna, you certainly did a good job of it. Oh, you're the driver, eh? Yeah, that's me. Smile and Gus Engstrom. Always bring him in safe. You start out on that trip? When this big storm's coming up? Why, for sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I shall certainly write to the president of the state line and inform him of what has occurred. I hope things unheard of. And, uh, how did you get here, may I ask? This ain't your regular home, is it? No, not regular. I just sort of dropped in here. You mean you're a hobo? Certainly. What are you? Well, my name is Jane Milton Hendrickson, if you must know, and I'm the fifth vice president of the Citizens Trust. That's right. right. I had him picked for a big guy all the time. Yeah, I bought 225 pounds worth. How's business? <coughs> <laughs> well, buddy, you're nice and plump, ain't you? That's me, sir. My own gun. And that's my mother. Laugh and grow fat. Mm-hmm. Well, right here's where you start your diet, boy. You can starve him to death as far as I'm concerned. Hey, put that down. You hear me? You ain't deaf, are you? Put that down. What for? I'm hungry. Listen, let's not have any argument, please. Just do what I'm telling you. Now, my dear man, don't worry. I'll pay you for these. With what? Right here. Look at that. Put that down or I'll flatten you. Oh, now, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please. You know there's a law in this country to protect its citizens from rough ends like you, Wyatt. Oh, yeah? Why don't you call a cop? Go on, blow your whistle. Listen, you're a long ways from a cop, so pipe down. How far from a cop? Listen, buddy. That gag don't mean no more to me than his dough does. So don't start nothing. No. No. I suppose you think you're going to flatten me, too. Huh? Well, eat it and find out. Ah, oh, folks, 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 please, don't let's have no more trouble. Here we are all nice and cozy and homey. Now, let's kiss and make up. What do you say? All right, sunshine. I will if he will. <laughs> you want another one? Now, folks, please, please, please. Will you please stop fighting and get me something to eat? Now, there you are. That's the first sensible thing that's been said since you've been here. Now, will you all listen and get some sense? See that food? As far as you're concerned, that's all the food there is in the world. And it's mine. You don't mean to say you're going to go that aside. Ah, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's wait till it gets through. Now, listen. I'm going to split with you. 
But remember this. That may have to last us 10 days or more. Do you get that? Oh, you can't keep me here that long. Ten days? No. But I've got no, to get listen, home. My folks are expecting me. Folks, I can get you through if you'll only let me. Well, when I run out of Duluth... Oh. Listen, buddy, you ain't in Duluth. Do you mean to... Here, uh, yeah, I'd like to talk. Yeah? You seem to be a pretty wise guy. Just how serious is this? What is serious? And uh, you figure we're going to be here for a 10-day stretch? Well, I don't know just what stretch means, but we're going to be here for 10 days or more. Oh, you don't know what stretch means? Never heard of it. Uh. Local girl gets straight. 10 days before I join the old folks at Auburn. What Auburn? Is there more than one? So you're the big, brave man that takes naughty little girls back to the pen, huh? Yep, I'm the boy, and I always get them. Mm -hmm. I generally finish what I start out to do. Well, ain't that dandy? Uh, and I'm not surprised if I have to see you someplace before. Well, maybe you have. Who can tell? Maybe one of these days I'll be taking you home to Ruth. Maybe you will. Maybe I will. Maybe. Maybe. So you've been over the bump, huh? Plenty. What's your name? Billy. Billy what? That's enough for you. What's yours? Bill. Bill what? That's enough for you. Well, we'll get along, big boy. You're all right, baby. Yes, sir, you're all right. Get out of here someday. Hey, I'll sing you a little song to cheer you up, huh? Right. My mother was a lady, and that you will allow. And you may have a sister who needs protection now. I came to this big city to seek my brother dear. You would not dare insult me, sir, if Jack were only here. Say, Bluebird, don't you know any old ones? Yeah, miss, I know a lot of them. You want to hear one? Oh, all right. Okay. May it bless your and power though we may roam. Ah, dry up, will you? Shut up, Carlson, for heaven's sake. I can't stand it. Well, the mic will give us all the willies. That's right, I was just thinking. I think we got a, a lot to be thankful for. It might be a lot worse. Yeah, we might all have been twins. Yeah, that's right.
What's the idea? I'm just making ten days' rations out of five. That's the idea. I see. Well, it's nourishing food anyway. Of all the Humpty Dumpty mobs I've ever seen in my life, you birds take all the blue ribbons. Look at this place. Looks like a lousy hog waller. Why don't you get up and do something? Say, I know. It's a football coach. Stop clowning and get some pep, will you? He's right. We can at least go outside and get a breath of fresh air. Sure, we get out and get the old blood running. Come on, Whitey, let's get going. You go ahead, General Pershing. I'm very comfortable. Listen, come on, unwind yourself and get out of there, will you? If we don't get some exercise, we're going to all go screw it. All right, you great, enormous man. You insist upon being Val, I'll have to give in. Give me a skin. I must recommend this diet to my girlfriends in the Junior League. We have such a time with our figures. Yeah. Hey. That goes for you birds, too. You know, the girls won't play rough. Come on, off the lead. And as it gets to the point where we have to eat each other, I know who I'm going to pick on first. Do you mean me? Sure he did. And if you're as tough as you're dumb, you'll make a lousy meal, I can say that. I hope so. <laughs> hey, Gus? Yeah? How's your health? Me? Oh, I'm 100%. You're all right, are you? Yeah. That's fine. I think I can use you for dessert. Hey, what? Say, you can't do that now. No, you heard Oh, me. no, but listen, say. No, I wasn't kidding you. Oh, you wouldn't do that to me, Dan. Come on, outside. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. Listen, you birds. The both of you. I ain't nobody, James. Get that? Oh, 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 oh. Look, Dan. 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 Look, Dan
tried to kiss Bob, too. Hey,
Me? Yes, you. Come over here. Excuse us, kid. Certainly. All right. I'll tuck that right back in there and it's all nice and comfy. Thank you. Oh, look. It's snowing again. Yes, it would be. What's the matter, Whitey? You keep away from that kid, understand? What do you mean? You heard me. Keep away from that girl. She's a nice girl. Well, gee whiz, I didn't say she wasn't, did I? Never mind the stalling. You do what I tell you. Keep away from her. Well, but I was only... I helping. saw what you were doing. You don't have to explain to me. what I told you. Well, what are you getting all excited about? Didn't you just tell us down there on the lake that you wasn't nobody's name? Hmm? Well, well, can a dame change her mind? Guy, Stan, I didn't mean to wake you up. Oh, no. Don't these dames wear the shortest skirt? Hey, brother. Yeah? I'd like to have a word with you. All right. Elected you the job of pulling them down. Well, I'd do my own electing, buddy. <laughs> I want you to keep your dirty hands off that girl. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm thinking that if she needs a nurse to. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the fella, see? Mm hmm. And she's my prisoner. Until I get a receipt for her. Ain't you a fine excuse? for a man. Mr. Egan the Bull. Mr. Egan will have his name in the papers, huh? You lousy hood, you. He brought back a notorious bandit. Mr. Egan always gets his girl. Hey, you ever try bringing a man back? Hey, listen. If it wasn't for those two dames being asleep there, I'd mop up the floor with you so fast you'd... Mm-hmm. And you were taking her back for another year in that pen, huh? Maybe two for jailbreaking. Mr. Egan, the bloodhound. Ain't he proud of himself? Go ahead, fella. Rub it in. Rub it in good. Just a copper who's stuck on his prisoner, huh? Now, well, listen, boy, there's two of us now. I'll drill a hole through you if you lay your hands on that kid. Well, now, maybe she'll have something to say about that. Maybe she will. Well, now we know where we stand on that, don't we? <laughs> I guess we do. 
And you're a long way from having that kid back in that pen, Mr. Egan. And maybe by the time we'll get out of here, I'm not so sure that I won't be taking your boat back. Get that? <laughs> Listen, we're just as close to the pen now as we're ever going to be. Do you get that? Maybe. And this time, I don't mean maybe. Oh. Yeah. It's getting terribly cold here. Oh, we'll put some more wood on here. You better go easy with that wood. You heard the lady say she was cold, didn't you? Well, using it up at this rate ain't anything. What do you feel like this time tomorrow? Oh, oh I believe it looks to tomorrow take care of the snow. Maybe there won't be any tomorrow for us. That's something to think about. And who cares anyway? Stop it for heaven's sake, will you? Well, what's on the menu today, Chef? One can of extra fine split pea soup. Mm, split pea is right. But six ways. What are we going to have for dessert? Snowballs? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bill. What? Couldn't you let me have just one puff on that cigarette of ours? I'm awful jumping. I'm sorry, Jack, but you know the rules. If you ain't feeling no better tonight, I might give you one little puff off of this last one. Here you are, Jack. Here's what I say. Thanks. You know that bird would take candy from a baby. Shut up! Listen! Oh, she's hearing things again. Do you hear it? Oh, I don't hear nothing. The cry of the banshee, I'm thinking. My gosh, I hear something at that. Oh, it's the growling of your empty stomach. Listen! It's a plane! My gosh, it is a plane. Let's see if we can fly. Let's go, come on. Oh, Uh, iron bars do not a prison make. 
You'll be hearing a lot more of that, me lad, before we get through. Yeah? Yeah? Well, you've all done a turn, I guess it's up to me. You know, my mother used to think I had a fine singing voice. So I'll do my turn. But the father was a cop and... Well, hey, kid, you know this one? You're just a lousy dick. Tell you something, why did it? I ain't ever told anybody. You think I'm a hobo, don't you? Well, I'm more, too. I'm hiding out right now. You're kidding. No, there ain't no such luck. They want me now back in St. Paul. So we're in the same boat. Well, that ought to make things a little different, then. I guess so. Do you think he heard it? Oh, I 
don't think so with that music going on. I think the music has stopped. Yeah? You know, he's not a bad egg at that. Oh, I guess he's all right, but... What about giving him the slip? Whatever you say, fella. Tonight? The sooner the better. Well, about 10 miles back of here over them hills is a ranger station. And if we have any kind of luck at all, we can make it by morning. We'll get away while they're asleep. Yeah. It's the only chance we got, darling. And I think we got it coming to us, don't you? Sure we have. Of course. We don't owe them a thing, do we? We don't owe them nothing. Anyhow, it's, it's a lot better than sitting around here like a couple of rats waiting to die, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Darling, I'm with you as far as you want to go. That's a baby. What's the matter? All the poor kids. Pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. 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 Pick her Well, kid, they're all asleep. Larry. Where are you, Larry? You promised to meet me, Larry. I wish you wouldn't do that. What's the matter, darling? You ain't getting cold feet, are you? No, darling. I ain't getting cold feet. Well, we can't, can't stop now. She'll be all right. Oh, you think she's good for it? Oh, she'll pull through all right. Don't worry about her. Oh, darling, I hope so. Well, as we said before, we've got to think about ourselves this time. Darling, they can take care of her as well as we can, can't they? Certainly they can. Larry, just wait a little longer. Oh, I love you so much, Larry. Oh, driving me crazy. Come on, kid, now. Come on, get together. <laughs> I've got as much right to my man as she has ever loved.
How's the nerve, kid? All right, but the cold going right through me. Come on now, keep the old pep up. We'll get warmed up in a minute. You've got to forget her, too. We got enough troubles of our own now. I'll say, but I can't forget that kid's face. Well, the way I'm thinking, it's, it's either her or us. Oh, they can take care of her. She don't mean anything to us. Of course she don't. Well, which is it going to be? Uh, I'm with you, darling. All right, Kitty. I guess I'm just yellow. Well, then we're both yellow. You really feel that way? Uh-huh. We've got to give them a chance to live the same as ourselves, ain't we? We've got to. Sure we do. Let's go. 
something out there last night in the snow and we ain't gonna lose it you and me's got time to do and we're gonna do it and that's that we're going on but together Then, uh, you dropped your papers. If 
you don't mind, you can just drop me off in St. Paul. <laughs> 